Hard Brick Who Cares, and this week's Brit Reviews is a special one, as um, it's a movie that I've been looking forward to for years and years and years, which is Wicked. Now, before I go into this, I think most people know what Wicked is. It is one of the most famous Broadway plays in the world, and... The reason why I'm looking forward to it is I've never seen a Broadway play. You what? Okay, let me explain. It's not like I did not want to see it. Of course I did. For fake sake, the soundtrack, I hear that online a oh, lot. It is an amazing soundtrack. Of course I want to see the play. The reason why I've never seen a play is reason one. It's very, very, very rare it comes to my area. And even if it did come to my area, which is the second reason, it always comes at the time at the wrong time with money issues where I don't have money to get tickets and you got to book it in advance, especially in big Broadway plays like um, Wicked. So yes, I've been unlucky to not to see this Broadway play. And to be honest with you, I think a lot of people have not seen this play and are blessed with this movie. So don't forget, this movie was in development for over a decade. And to be honest with you, we finally got it. Now... With all the hype from this movie, you know, from the, the acclaimed soundtrack of this movie, is this, you know, after tasting good? Well, half, which I explain that in a minute. Is it good? Well, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. It's a masterpiece. Yeah, I'm being serious. It is a masterpiece. Now, even though it is half a film, I know people say, what do you mean it's half the film? Well, this is the thing. This is the sad bit about the marketing for this movie. I think the marketing has been decent, except from this one part where it is in two parts. Especially with the title, called, it's a called Wicked, where people go into this thinking, especially if you haven't seen a Broadway play, or if you're not like a movie buff like me, who, you know, we say their movies all the time, because again, I'm a nerd, you know what I mean? You know, people like me, you know what I mean, who we said this stuff. And I'm going, no, this movie is, is in two parts. Now, the thing is, normally I mostly don't like this. Because sometimes it can work. But a lot of time, it cannot, I wouldn't say it's worked well. But, this is a big but. I think this will have benefits. Because, for example, what Lesmas, that attestation we got. I actually thought it was good. I actually enjoyed Resmas, but a lot of people got mixed feelings of it or don't like it because they're prone with the pacing of that. And the thing is, it cut a lot of songs out of it. So, yeah. It would have better, better be two parts with this is what Wick is doing. It benefited well by being two parts. So, again, will it work? I've got to wait to see two part two. I think it's out next year, just to see, you know, does it benefit from it. So I can't do on that bit yet. You know what I mean? Fair enough. We'll get to the positives as um, most of it is positives. Now, the first part I want to talk about is the soundtrack, which, to be honest with you, even if you have not seen, you know, the Broadway play, most people have probably heard the soundtrack they are that iconic and in this movie they done an amazing job calling it it is an amazing job they done seriously a one done an amazing job especially the main song with the end of the movie which we all know how we go into the movie how part one go end what song is going to end the movie which is defying gravity which is probably one of the most famous broadway songs ever made one of them, and the thing is, then I watched it on the big screen, you know, I hear that song, or oh, rolls, rolls, rolls of times, non-stop, I got tills, it was that mind bone, my hot arm hairs stood up, I got the tills, I'll be honest with you, that's what you want in a musical, especially some as great as wicked and it is 
breathtaking on that part. And of course, the cast. I think the cast an amazing job. We got um, Cynthia Revivo, who play Elphaba. I think she's done an amazing job playing here. And yes, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. Before the film came out, she done something stupid. And she's well known for the outbursts online, you know what I mean? And yes, what he's done with the um, Bad May poster is a bit all the top. And yes, the AI thing, you know, the AI means at the end of the day, what is not over the top, you know, racist or whatever it is, don't let it be. Yeah, I know there's some super comments about, you know, what called the, um, you know, the Gale Parks, you know. Yeah, you're, you are going to get that in all fan bases, no matter what. It's not a new thing, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm going to address that. What he's done is quite stupid, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to... Let me affect the film. His performance in the film, Totnos, an amazing talent, fantastic voice on there. She did an amazing job playing an iconic character. Then you got Anna Gonde playing Glinda, and again, she done a, a, a good job. Now, just a thing: in the first forty odd minutes, I thought she done a fine job, but once you got like two forty odd minutes. She signs, like, you know what song it is, she comes up. She that comes up, she signs so well, and I get credit, she done an amazing job in this. And like, this is a thing, she is a singer, and also, she was an actress in, in, in her early days, you know what I mean? So, technically, she got a bit of experience, yet not as big as, you know, Wicked in a way, but in a way, she's done an amazing job. And also, as a fun fact, which I didn't know until I watched a TikTok video, she actually played all three roles, <laughs> technically, of Wicked in her life. Like, it's what they're called. She played Dorothy in, like, a parody thing in, um, I think, Victorious or something, something like that. She done, um, you know, she played the evil Wicked Wish. In the TV show for you know, Wicked Alvarez show, and she's now playing Grinda. So technically, she got plenty of scenes in that, and she's shows it here. So again, all positive and all the cast an amazing job. And lastly, one of the biggest parts of this movie is the story. I think the story is so fucking good. I'm being serious. Now the story is an awful story to Elsa. Which is, we all know she is the most iconic villain in any movie history, as she is the evil wisp in the Wizard of Oz. And to be honest, with you, it's a very good looking story. It's very, very, very well told from beginning to end. I want to see more with, I've got to wait a whole freaking year to see, you know, to see what's going to happen next. Why like I said, I have not seen the Broadway play. But God. I cannot wait to see what will happen next. But we were it's been with the Wizard of Oz as a whole media wise, like film wise. Of course, we got the classic Wizard of Oz, which I love. I watched that non stop as a kid. You know, the classic, iconic Wizard of Oz movie. Then we got um, Return to Oz, which is a uh, um, cult classic. I still think it's good, but. I can see why people do not like it because it is messed up, but in a good way, you know what I mean? And lastly, if I remember my in my experience, is I think it's called Oz the Great and Powerful, which is a, a no DC movie. So I think Return of Oz made by Disney and I think uh, what you call it got Oz the Great and Powerful is made by Disney and I thought at first time I watched that I thought it was okay. But the more I watch it now, I got Clowns with it, know what I mean? You know. And outside with ours, I think Wicked is one of the best orphan stories or best stories we got up to date. Yeah, including Return to Oz. I've been saying, I think this told a very, very good story. And you felt bad for her in a way. Obviously, you know, I do have problems. You can't make it feel too bad. Obviously, you need to be evil and wicked near the end, which I cannot judge on that yet. Because like I said before, this is a half the Broadway play. So technically, I cannot say, oh, you know, 
you, you can't make it feel, oh, oh, I feel bad for him. Oh, for obviously, in the last half of the um, movie, you know, in part two, it has to show him with more of his wicked side. You know what I mean? So, again, I can't nip it on that bit yet until I actually see part two. But, on Storyway, on the world build, I think this world is fantastic. And, especially with some of the stories now, you got the, I cannot spoil too much, but it does have good themes. And I thought it's going to be, oh, it's going to be, oh, what were your face themes? Like we got in some shows and movies lately. But this does the message so well. And it's not one your face. It do it in, in a way of good storytelling. And those themes work so well here. Bit of racism, bit of um, your, what you are. But at the same time, it's not like, oh, it's one side race. No, all the races are just as bad. And it's so that here, the way, you know, the normal people cheat uh, else about in this movie. It's so well done here. So, again, um, this is how you do those themes so well. Now, I do got one or two problems. And again, you know, nitpicks at the moment because technically... It is half a film, technically, because, like I said before, it is a two-part, so it might answer my questions in the second part, technically. Now, the thing in this movie is, it is heavily, heavily, you know, hinted that it is going to be linked to The Little Oz. Well, The Little Movie. Again, I know people say, no, it's not. It's, it's not. No, I know that. But... The hints they shown in, like they are hints. Again, I'm not gonna spoil it, but there are a lot of hints in this movie that are connected. Like even the first trailer. Now, this is the thing. A lot of Wicked fans was confused. We had to know. Like I said, I never seen the Broadway play. On one frame, you got all the iconic characters: Dorothy, you know, the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, the Cowley Lion. Not them, but you don't see the faces, you see the back of them, know what I mean? So that one shot, and fans were confused saying, that was not in the Wicked Play. Again, I'm not sure, I'm not saying it's true or not, because, like, again, I'm going by what I heard on the internet. Now, in the open scene, right, you do see um, the four duo, you know, the, 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 you know, the four iconic characters, walking way back from killing the wish. You don't see the front bit, you see the back of them, though, I mean, heading back to, you know, the, you know, the little bit road. After they're killing the West, that's how it opens the scene. You don't see them killing it, but you see a hat in a puddle, and then they zoom out, and you see them walking back with a broom, though, know I mean. Now, now, this is the thing, I, so if it could be linked to the Whistle movie, just, the point is not, but to pretend it is. There are so many loopholes in the story, even though the story is so well told. Like, the first loophole where is, um, the, there is a boy train that travels to the Great Oz, you know what I mean? So my thing is, if there was a boy train there, you know what I mean? Why, um, did A took the boy train to there in the little movie, you know what I mean? Or the little story, you know what I mean? Again, if that probably will get answered in part two, probably. Where it could say it got destroyed on me. But again, at the moment now, I'm like, okay, um, that's right, a repole if it's don't address that bit, you know what I mean? No one, which is, I find a bit interesting, is Elsa's sister, which we all know she's got crushed by Dorothy's house in the Wizard of Oz. And, you know, his stripper got took off it, you know what I mean? And they do hint to strippers in this movie. And the thing that got me is, we hear backstory here, because she got a tragic backstory, and the, the, it do cover why she's in a wheelchair, and it's tragic, know what I mean? I'm messed up, know what I mean? I'm sorry, but if I'm, you know, the evil wish, you know, if in that, you know, movie now, I'm watching it now, I'm on here, so I'd be more pissed off. What the fuck? You killed my sister in that. With a house on course, and you take this trip, you know what I mean? Again, fuck you, Grind, you know what I mean? That, I hope they address that a bit more, but again, it probably will, in a way, because they do hint to strippers in, in the movie, 
obviously it's a different color, but I think obviously they've done it on purpose. They're going to sort of go happen to them to turn to the iconic red, you know what I mean? But in the movie, it's like the icon it's like um silver or white, I remember, you know what I mean? So that's probably will get addressed and because it do so it do hit that heavily. And that's just one of these oh woes, woes of um wizards, you know, Easter eggs and you know, not Easter, but links, you know what I mean? So it should be interesting that it just gonna cover the original movie with I know it shouldn't, but if it doesn't, does this hint that you're gonna do like a new remake of Wizard of Oz in the future, you know what I mean? If this does so well. I know people always say, but it's a Broadway play. Yeah, but you see the money it's made already? It made its budget back already in less than a week. And I saw this, you know, about half a week later, you know what I mean? Because obviously I got stuff to do, you know, with hairspray on my outro. That's why it was a bit late on this review. But it's my boy, it's made us much money. And we still got part two to come out, which I believe in a film that they filmed these two back to back. I believe, again, I, I could be wrong on that, but if they did, this is a big profit they make on this movie. I'll be honest, I know people think, well, Dirt is, you know, wicked. It's an iconic musical. I know, but still. It's been a fan size, you know, Betty was the Oz fan size since the recent movies. It has been cursed, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it should be interesting, you know, what we're going to get in, you know, part two. Again, that's why it is a nitpick at the moment now because all these, the, all these plot holes could be answered in part two. So, with that, that's my only nitpick. So, if we're going to wank this movie, it's a 10 out of 10. Seriously, watch this movie. It is an experience. It is an experience. And I love it. So, let's go to my outro, Sally. So, my outro. You made this far. Thanks for watching the video. As yet, you know, there's a big gap on my last video. There is a reason why, because I'm moving out. Yes, sadly. And of course, the reason why this vid, you know, review came out a bit late than it should be because I plan to watch this movie day one but sadly you know what like I said before I'm moving out you know yeah I, I'm still not moving out yeah but I'm still doing part of it you know what I mean so yeah but there's gonna be another video this week as I'm planning to see Moana 2 this week you know so there's gonna be a video on that this weekend so yeah my question of the day is what you thought of Wicked? You know, do you like it or hate it? I like hate your comments below. So, if you want to see more reviews like this in the future, please really like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more. So, this has been a break. Who cares? See you on the next one.